base, what it is, what it, what it ain't. Uh, I had a thought, you know what I'm saying? I was conversing with a brother on Google Plus. Notice this time I didn't say arguing. I was conversing with a brother on Google Plus or whatever. And his question, he asked me, and this is a while ago, but his question was, what does the word nigga mean to you? Because, you know, in my, in my text, in my tech typing as well as in my talking, you know, nigga gonna come up. Nigga, 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 right? And so, you know, I sometimes I've noticed that I'll, I would, when I'm speaking on certain people, I'll say brother as opposed to saying nigga, like purposely. So that kind of shows that, you know, subconsciously, you know, I have some kind of reserve about this word, you know what I mean? Speaking towards certain people, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, so I start thinking about it. And then, you know, I thought, I said, well, you know, fuck it. I'll do a video. Cause, you know, for me, I, you know, these videos will record my, my mind, all right? You know, I hope, the hope is you can help somebody, you know, with just you sharing your thoughts. But I really don't give a damn. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think of myself as someone that people should listen to. Well, kind of. Cause some of this should be kind of obvious. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this this just be for me. So anyway, you know, the word nigga. All right, you you come up. It's a word of endearment, right? But you know, it's supposedly well, it is the word that they you know they they use to antagonize us with and to speak ill of us right nigger whatever whatever right but i remember when i was young and i would look at a map you know africa or whatever and i would see the two countries nigeria and niger niger and i would think like are them people over there that goddamn stupid that they would name their whole country <laughs> after a word that mean ignorant like you know what i'm saying so I mean, even then, I, I had reserved. I was like, well, they must know something that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you know, I, I dismiss it. Whatever. So you get conscious, and then you find out the history of the word. Now, for those who don't know the history of the word nigga, okay? Nigga, all right. It, it has, it, it, oh, look, you got to go 360 degrees in knowledge, all right? There is no one explanation for one thing, period. So the word nigga... The first explanation you're going to get is it means ignorant. And it means the slaves who didn't know how to read or whatever, right? The Negroes and Negroes got converted to niggas, right? The stupid people, whatever, whatever. All right. Now, that is actually false, all right? Or that's not where it originally comes from, all right? For those who don't know, the word nigga comes from the word naga, N-A-G-A, or really N-G-R, really could because they didn't we didn't use vowels in Egypt, right? So it's N G R Nagar, right? Okay, but you know when you spell it you might N A G A or N A G R or N G hold on N U G E S Nagus Nagini Nagaz uh you know a lot of variations of that it all meant king it meant um wise one because the the Naga was the serp was the name of the serpent, and the serpent in the Bible is the one that they say you know was the evil. But the serpent in uh, comedic science or Moorish science was the the wisdom bringer. Serpent meant wise person. I mean, if you read the Bible, uh, I think it was Moses. Why told you, uh, Jesus? I think told you to be wise as a serpent, and Moses had the serpent's head on his staff or whatever the fuck i don't know look it up but anyway so naga nigga you know nagus nagini means you know king uh you know queen high priest you know etc so but at the same time in our recent history it was used to you know antagonize us now watch this all right i always tell people go to acts in the bible acts book of acts a c t s chapter 5 verse 30 okay and it's gonna tell you that the messiah jesus was the one who got hung on a tree now you always know he got hung on a cross but if you google it you'll find out that they never really say in the bible that they placed him on a cross like that and they, and they don't it says that 
he bared his cross. And it says that I think Simon bare the cross for him. Okay? But it never actually says put him on a cross and crucify. It, it, it doesn't actually say it like that. You know, it hints to that. And you can you can uh, you can come to that conclusion, but it doesn't really say that. But it actually does say hung on a tree. Now, y'all know who got hung on a tree. That was us over here. Now watch this. Now watch this. Watch this. Now if you go in the Bible, in them books, Mark, Matthew, the four gospels, when they talking about the crucifixion, they say how they antagonized Jesus while he was on the cross, right? They say if you really, if you really God, if you really God's son, or you really God, come down off that cross, right? You know, and when they and when they was uh, you know taking him up to be put on the cross, if you you know if you will, then they was you know talking about him and stuff like that, right? Now, how does that correlate to the nigga on the tree and us? Watch this. Think of no understand that. These people know who we are and know who, who, what, and what we are. So, if a priestly name for us was nigger, 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 you know, my daddy used to say, them, them, uh, them old white boys can say spell nigger better than you <laughs> with the A R at the end, nigger. nigger. <laughs> anyway, uh, right now they know that they know that we that's that means God, that means priest, that means king. And if this king or this priest is hanging up on this tree, right? Us being us, listen, us being this white, this Irish white boy who hate niggas, right? Hate black people, whatever, whatever, right? He's antagonizing the, the guy they 